be uh, you'd be willing to play maybe a um, a, a victim or a suspect on uh, Criminal Minds, you know, because that that show's been getting a lot of uh, buzz in the last year or so. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm sure. I'll Would you let the uh, behavioral analysis unit, you know, uh, <laughs> go after you? the BAU, you know, go after you? You know, would yeah. you be willing to let that happen? Absolutely, I'll, I I will take absolutely anything at all. I, I I've learned to not reject anything. I, I I've uh, there have been a couple of times where I said. I don't know if I really want to do that, and they turn out to be like amazing movies, and it would have been so simple. Like I auditioned for, uh, I see the trailer for Kick Ass. I auditioned for that. Uh, no, I didn't audition for that. That's the thing. Uh, like uh, okay. Okay. months ago, I, I had the opportunity to put myself on tape for it, and uh, I was just like, eh, I don't really, I'm just not feeling it. And now it looks like it's amazing. So I'm like, you know, I hit myself for that. So I learned to not reject any auditions at all. Yeah, because actually, if you were in that movie, you would have been in the movie with Nicolas Cage. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yes. Uh, it's uh, it's like I can't pick and choose right now. Oh, yeah. I, it's like I take whatever I can get. So basically, any any show you would take, you know, like whether it's whether it's a comedy like Two and a Half Men or Big Bang Theory, because that show has been getting a lot of buzz too. Or a even, lot. Or even do a or, or even like a daytime soap opera. Like <laughs> Joey Tribbiani. Okay. Oh <laughs> boy. <laughs> That is actually, I would not do that. You would not do oh. something like Days of Our Lives or, uh, you know, it would, it would, The Bold and the Beautiful, you know? <laughs> it would take, something like that. It would take a lot of convincing, because that's just like, that's just, uh, that, that, that is hell to me. I, I couldn't <laughs> it's imagine. Not, it's not you. It's not the type of uh, character you would want to play. Well, I, I don't think I'm the person you would want anyway, to be honest. <laughs> well, <laughs> at the same time, being on something like Days of Our Lives isn't really a steady job anymore, because... So life to live in days of our lives, they get under two million viewers now. Mm -hmm. If you work for them, you're already looking for a new job now. <laughs> you're starting to ask Wendy's, hey, uh, when days of our lives cancels me, mm -hmm. um, you know, will you have a position for me, like over here by the fry machine? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like well, with, well, with soap operas all, all, all the time. No, no, no. Go ahead. Uh, 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 with soap operas, it, it's like uh, it's not rewarding work at all. It's pretty much just like a. If it's kind of like a, I, I'd Im I imagine it as a nine to five job, and it's just not fun. Where, whereas, it, plus when you're doing that, if you get stuck doing that, then when a really great audition comes along, you don't have the opportunity to do that because, hey, you know, I got a, I got, a, I got another year of this, you know. So I mean, I don't know how their contracts work, but I, I imagine that's how it works. We're talking with Brandon Harsey, star of the new movie American Pie Presents: The Book of Love, on the RPM show. Uh, real quick. What, on the flip side of things, with all the movies and stuff, now, on the other side, what is your favorite TV show? Is there any TV show that you like to watch, you know, on, on your free time? Is mm -hmm. there any show that you like? Um, Do you have a favorite? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I uh, just recently, again, Breaking Bad is amazing. I uh, love that show. Um, what else is there? I, uh, I'm really into Dexter. Um, and other than that, uh, uh, I mean, I just love shows that aren't on anymore. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Like The Wire is amazing. Uh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Oh, God, how could I not? Oh, <laughs> it's Seinfeld. Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's I love Curb Your Enthusiasm. I think Larry David is a genius. Um, uh, I did. I got too many to name. I, I think I got uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I got too many. I'm gonna keep on rambling. I keep going. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Now, with the year 2009 well behind us, and now we're in, in the new year 2010, what was what is your favorite movie of 2009? If you had to pick one, or maybe you know, maybe one or two, what would you think is the top movie of the year in your mind of 2009? Not counting Bark Got a Room and American Pie Book of Right? Yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, now he can't he can't uh, right, say those. All right. Um, oh man, I gotta think. I didn't go. To, I didn't go. Movies too much this year. Okay, you know, um, well, I th I think Star Trek was amazing. Um, although, okay, did you guys see The Road by any chance? No, but I do no, want to see. That. I totally missed that in the theaters. I hear it's phenomenal. I just I wanted to see it, but I just never found the time. I'm gonna go ahead and say that is my favorite movie of the year. I'm gonna okay. put my stamp of approval on that because that movie was awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that'd be it. Uh, the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> I recommend that. All right, that's not, that sounds like a plan. Well, 
Brandon, thank you very much for joining us on the RPM Show. We appreciate you coming in, and we wish you the best of luck on your new projects. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. We hope to get you in the studio again. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. It was, it was great to be here and see all of you guys again. And, uh, yeah, had a good time. Okay. Right. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions about what's going on in the world of uh, movies, feel free to send Adam an email to adam at the rpmshow.com. If you have any questions about what's going on in the world of uh, TV, feel free to send Mike an email. Very simple, mike at the rpmshow.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever it is about the world of entertainment, we want to hear from you. Feel free to send me an email to ryan at the rpmshow.com. We've also got Facebook, MySpace, and YouTube on the sidebar of the website, but facebook.com slash the RPM show, myspace.com slash the RPM show, as if anybody uses MySpace anymore, <laughs> and youtube.com slash RPM radio. You can also check Brandon out, not only at brandonhardesty.com, but also youtube.com slash uh, A-R-T-I-E-T-S-M-I-T-W. Or you could just do youtube.com slash brandonhardesty. That'll take you there. Okay. Or if you're also on our YouTube channel as well, he is our only subscription so far <laughs> on our YouTube channel. So if you go to subscriptions, you see one. You see this handsome-looking face over here and the little icon. <laughs> Click on that. You'll find him there, too. All right, so that, that's the best way to contact you is on, or to look for is on YouTube. You have your own website. Uh, don't forget, it's brandonharsky.com. And uh, any, any other ways to, uh, to find you, or, is that, or those are the best ones to, uh, to use? Uh, that's pretty much it. That, that is where you find it. Or the LA brothels or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> Maybe somewhere there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> we, we're, we're losing our minds. <laughs> Especially the last segment. I always do this on the show. That's like my forte at the end of the show as the humor. So. <laughs> Gosh. Well, this has been an RPM show exclusive. Enjoy the rest of your day because you are listening to the RPM show.